Yo, it's that jit, young guy, hey, man, aka Rick the African. I ain't gonna lie, I might need to change my intro, cause my name not even Young R.A. no more. My shit Rick the African now, so I just still rock with it, bro. Fuck it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hey, check my view out, though. Mm. Yeah, I got a good view right now, man. I'm high up. High up in the air right now. I'm probably like... 10 feet in the air right now. I'm at the park right now. I just chilling, catching the vibe. You know what I'm saying? But this video, we just gonna talk about, this is gonna be a chill video. No review today. No, you feel me? No music today. You know, check out the music though. The music been fire, bro. The music been flames. Check out Make A Way and then check out Sheesh. Check out all the music. Hell Loose. Bro, I made real music, bro. Like authentic music. Like that shit come from heart chakra, throat chakra, all of that. I just love making music, bro. It's just something I do on my free time and something I enjoy doing. I ain't trying to get signed. I ain't trying to, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to get signed or be industry ass nigga. I ain't doing that shit. You know, I just do music cause I love to do it. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm so consistent with it. I love it. So y'all check it out. I appreciate it if y'all check it out. If you don't like it, you don't like it, but at least check it out. At least listen to it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. Check it out. It's over there for a reason. So, I can give y'all this knowledge through the videos and through the music. So, yeah, bro. I'm not even get much, giving much knowledge. I'm just expressing myself and, like, sharing my story, bro, through music and shit. And how I see life. You know what I'm saying? My perception on life and shit like that. But, yeah, y'all. In this video... I'm just gonna talk about how you can strengthen your third eye, AKA first eye. Everybody say third eye, third eye. This is your first eye. Shout out to Isis Wisdom, she taught me that. This is your first eye. <clears throat> you see how this eye is more elevated than these eyes? This eye is, is higher than these two eyes because this is the first eye, you know what I'm saying? This eye was created before these two physical eyes were even made. Before, when you was in the womb, when you was like one month, this eye was already made. You know what I'm saying? You ain't even developed these eyes yet. When you like one month in the womb, this eye been here, y'all. So yeah, this is the first eye, not third eye. Let's, let's try to change that. Let's call this the first eye now, you feel me? And this eye is way more important than these two eyes. <laughs> I tell you that. So ways you can strengthen it is just, you could, you could take hair taki. You could take hair taki powder. Yeah, I know I got a video on that. You could take hairy talkie powder, you know what I'm saying? That's a, a, a herb, it's an organic herb. I got my hairy talkie powder on uh, Amazon. Cause you know, sometimes Amazon got shit from India and other countries. So I was like, fuck yeah, I'm gonna get my shit out of the United States. Cause anything the United States has, they always fuck with it. So I, I get my shit outside of the country, Africa, India, you name it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But. I got Harry Taki powder on Amazon. It was about $25. Check out the review. I go more in depth on the video. I have a whole video on it. So y'all check that out. But Harry Taki is a natural herb that cleanses your stomach, cleanses your digestive system. And it also, um, it can activate your third eye. You feel me? So it can strengthen your pineal gland. So like your first time taking it, you might have a crazy ass dream or a vivid dream, you know, shit like that. But it's a herb though, so it's natural. It's all organic. You feel me? There's nothing fucked up about it. It's not a pharmacy shit, you know. Hair talky powder. That shit can strengthen your first eye for sure. For sure, for sure. I've been taking hair talky powder for like what like three months now? About three months, two to three months. And I've been, bro, my life's been changed, bro. Not only has my stomach healed, because I used to have a wounded stomach, but my my, my dreams are becoming more vivid. As I rise in frequency, as I gain consciousness, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 my, my dreams become more vivid and more real. You know what I'm saying? Like last night, I had this crazy dream, y'all. I had this crazy dream. You know what I'm saying? It was about, it was about, let me tell you how it happened. <laughs> let me tell you how it happened. It was nighttime. It, it was afternoon nap. It was nighttime. And I'm with my family. I'm with all my family members. You know what I'm saying? We walking, we walking somewhere, and it's my family members and a whole bunch of other people. 
and we're walking towards these boats you know what i'm saying it's like a a whole bunch of boats like cruise boats ready to take off so i'm like okay we about to go on a cruise that's that that's why all my family is here you know that's why you know what i'm saying so much people is here we about to go on a cruise so i'm like okay you know what i'm saying we walk in we walk in we go to the boat we're going on a cruise so what happened after that what happened after that we reached the boat yeah we arrive at the boat you know what i'm saying and then i remember we was all in this one room we was all in this one room sitting down and it was it was a it was a white room white lights everybody was looking at the tv everybody was looking at the tv they had something playing i remember it was a commercial that came on it's just a random commercial in the dream i'm like it was so crazy seeing a tv in my dream it was a random commercial and i was like yo i saw that everybody started looking up at the tv you feel me and then this commercial came on it was uh you could see the sun but it was nighttime you know what i'm saying i don't know what time of the day it was but i know it was nighttime it was dark in the commercial and then you could see the sun at nighttime and then when everybody was looking the sun just started falling the sun just started falling towards uh towards the planet towards the earth you know what i'm saying and then once that happened the sun kept falling this is in the commercial though the sun kept falling and then the the planet started flooding you know what i'm saying the planet started flooding and then everybody had to turn into a a water-like organism to be able to survive the flood so some people turned into dolphins some people turned into whales y'all gotta stay with me this was a wild dream it's all over the place but this is how the dream world can be you know what i'm saying it's uh it's a magic land anything right, can happen back. yeah i be looking around because you always got to stay on point you feel me always got to stay on point but yeah everything started flooding so everything started flooding so everybody had to transform into a water-like organism so people turned into dolphins some people turned into whales just to survive and it was like it was so surreal how it happened because when i saw the on um, the sun falling it was like it was crazy bruh it felt like it was really happening you know what i'm saying and like when i was trying to look at the tv i had to keep blinking like because my vision was blurry trying to look at the tv so i had to keep blinking to get my you know what i'm saying it was just all all types of craziness but yeah y'all write down your dreams you feel me write down your dreams always gotta write down your dreams but that's like a that lets me know that the hairy talkie is working because my dreams get more and more vivid as i rise in consciousness and it's not only hairy talkie you could sun gaze you could um yeah, you could sun gaze, you could uh, meditate. There's so much, there's so much, everything plays a part. Even your eating, your eating plays a part with your pineal gland. You know what I'm saying? Start taking fluoride free toothpaste. Fluoride free toothpaste. Cause fluoride fuck with your pineal gland. Uh, avoid swimming pools. Cause uh, swimming pools contain chlorine and shit. That's how they keep the pool blue. That also fucks with your, your first eye. So stay away from swimming pools and uh, fluoride toothpaste. That contaminates your third eye, uh, your first eye. Also certain foods you might eat like pork, you know, um, foods that can stain like yellow 40, you know, red 40, shit like that. Like candy, stay away from that. That can also fuck with your, your first eye. You know, everything plays a part. So if you want to strengthen your first eye, your pineal gland, just, you know, take life more seriously. That's it, bro. Take life more seriously. If you really loved yourself, you would watch what you eat. If you really loved yourself, you would watch who you keep around you, the type of energy you keep around you. You would watch the type of music you listen to. You know what I'm saying? The type of shit you program yourself with. If you really love yourself, you would work out more. You would sun gaze. You would meditate more. All that shit plays into part with self-love. That's what the spiritual shit about, man. Y'all be getting confused, like, trying to know it all. Don't be a know-it-all type of nigga. Some people, like, don't be a cocky know-it-all trying to teach everybody, like, you something special. Be humble. You still a servant yourself. 
you can still learn from anybody else. You can learn from a little kid. You know what I'm saying? Just be humble and uh, put in the work, bro. Put in the work. You gotta put in the work. If you want your pineal gland to be stronger, your first eye to be stronger, you gotta put in the work. You gotta actually take this spiritual stuff seriously. You know what I'm saying? Everything matters. This is a 24 seven lifestyle. You can't step in and step out, man. You know what I'm saying? You can't step in and step out. Every second of your life will be dedicated to this practice, to this lifestyle, this way of living, this natural way of living. Every second of your life will and shall be dedicated to, you know what I'm saying? Raising the vibration, raising the frequency of the planet, saving the people, saving the youth. That's what it's about, man. That's really what it's about. So love one another, take care of one another, and appreciate one another while they still here. Appreciate your loved ones while they still here. So yeah, y'all, that's about it. You know what I'm saying? I'll catch you on the next. Peace.